I forgot the peel was there. Hey guys, welcome back to lunch. I am wearing the same shirt I wore in my last video, but don't worry, I did change clothes in the course of the one week that that video was filmed. It is currently 12.16, and I was supposed to be reading, I edited my YouTube video, which is what I plan to do. I should have read The Metamorphosis again for my essay. It turns out, I, of course I go on my phone, but like, okay, well the point is, I didn't realize how long that book is, so I'm going to be making lunch because I am craving it. I'm craving these noodles. Yes. So I'm currently going to be putting some vegetables and then an egg for some protein and this is like for fiber, you know. I always make too many vegetables, so I'm going to like hold back on them because I already have the vegetables in the fridge already. I usually don't, don't put oil because I don't find it necessary, but try that. Also, these were in the fridge, so I'll just throw these in. I think they're cooked already. Throw them in last. Corn. I needed corn. I don't know why, I just need corn. Vegetables have a lot of volume, so... That's good. Also, I know like cold sesame noodles are supposed to be cold, and these are cold. But, I did heat them last night, and they were like good heated up too it was also cold and hot and i kind of like things cold and hot like i'm kind of weird I'm weird i am weird uh like warm and like kind of like it's almost like a little bit warm though for like 30 seconds so like we were getting both and i like to ha have both experiences i'm gonna keep these cold though i'm not gonna migrate these but i will be adding like the food and the egg in here so it's gonna be like kind of like both but it's fine like i don't it doesn't bother me these look so good thumbnail Oh wait, I'll do it with everything on it. Alright, so I'm going to be making the fried egg. I'm going to put some oil in. Extra virgin. And then this egg. I'm scared. Ah! Wait, actually looks so good. Well, fried egg is a whole different experience. Like... This is like one of the TikTok videos. And like when it's not with oil, it's so different. Wow. Okay, so I ran into this dilemma where like I didn't put enough oil because I don't like my things oily. And so now I can't like put the oil on top of the egg to cook. So I try to put this lid because I always put a lid to make the yellow cook. But my vegetables are now overcooked and the egg's not cooking. Okay, so I'm going to call it done. I want it runny. I just don't want it that runny. Okay, we're good. Oh, it actually looks so pretty. Poor pan. I always mess up the pan. Like, uh, oh, this looks so good. Okay. I want to put the egg on without breaking it. I don't know if I can deal with chopsticks. Hold on. Oh. Did y'all just witness that? Because I did. This looks so good. I really just did that. Slay. All right. Time to finally taste test it. I hope the egg isn't too runny. Can you guys see that? I just popped it. Oh, this is like perfect. Oh, it's kind of cold because of the thumbnail. Y'all look at this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Egg is, okay. It's kind of hard to eat it with chopsticks. I don't know how people do this. All right, so I'm getting a piece of broccoli and an egg and some nudes. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty dang good. I've had this seasoning for like so long. I think it was in the everything but the bagel phase and then also the avocado toast phase. I I can't eat avocado toast. I actually didn't undercook the egg because the bottom of it was cooked like a hard boiled egg. But I always do that because the top always looks undercooked. Like I never know when the top is cooked. I mean like runny enough cooked like i don't want it to be raw this spot right here brings me back so many memories and when i like very first began youtube like i filmed all my what to eat in a day and like my like stuff like that and trying things so here we are back again long time no see these true fruit 
Nature Strawberries Hyper Dry Fresh and Dark Chocolate. I've been dying to try these. And I think I just want to finish these two, like Reese's mini things. And also, they only give you like this much. Like, that means I only got like six in here. Maybe it was eight. I don't know. I thought it was like up to here at least. But I was so disappointed when it's like, they only fill up to what you can see. So you don't see that there's none in here. Like, because this thing is this long. I got this true fruit from my mom for Christmas because I've been wanting to try these but I've never like seen them and I don't know like where what I want to find them or like where they would sell. But I think she's just such she got them like acne so I can smell them already. Uh, I don't know the last time I had dried fruit but I know dried mango I didn't like that much. I these are so big. You don't get that many but this is how big they are. They look like an Easter egg. They remind me of like those Walgreens things me and my mom like. The, um, there's like pomegranate seeds maybe. No. They're not this big. Good. Oh. That was really hard. At first you can taste a little bit of strawberry. But it's so much chocolate. Like all that chocolate. That's all you taste frozen ones are better than hybrid show them i have the dark chocolate raspberries and those are the best of anything from these people this is not worth it we haven't known each other long but god it's easier to say I'm trying the pop tart it's from a local bakery no nearby not that local but the raw one tasted just like icing so i have a toasted piece and a microwave piece just a piece i don't know if it's toasted all the way mm, that is better that has like crispier microwave one is mushier Just the one. 